Now I would like to introduce the salutatorian of the class of 2013, Talia Padapudian. Faculty, friends, family, and fellow members of the class of 2013. I have to admit that I spent some time thinking about what makes a good speech. Originality, applicability maybe, and definitely the ability to speak in public without passing out. I asked myself important questions. How many metaphors about big fish, small ponds, and large oceans are too many? But quickly, I realized that today is not about the speech or even any individuals. Rather, it's about being a part of something bigger and something collective before we go our own separate ways as individuals. Because even while we are individuals, the class of 2013 is more than simply a collection of students playing their unique roles. Even while we have our musicians, our writers, our scientists, comedians, philanthropists, athletes, and artists, this is a case where I believe the Gestalt theorists are correct. The whole is greater than simply the sum of its parts. We are more than a group of accomplished students. We are a class who has, since entering the school as freshmen, grown closer, grown wiser, and, I'd like to think, left our mark. While writing this speech, I also began to wonder, what exactly is it that we're celebrating? Are we honoring an end, or a beginning, or a transition, or all three? Should we feel proud or nostalgic? The lack of explicit answers to, this question, to these questions is something I suspect we'll be dealing with a lot in the near future, since the world we're about to step into will present us with problems lacking the clear-cut solutions we've searched for with calculators and textbooks. The days when conjugating the verb avoir was our biggest hurdle are probably past. When we throw off our caps and step out of these doors today, we'll be full-fledged members of an expansive world where each of us will chase our own ambitions and face our own responsibilities. It's exciting and also kind of terrifying, but I think we'll find that, intentionally or otherwise, we'll carry a piece of Hopkinton with us wherever we venture. From our best days to our inevitable worst, and from our exciting successes to the frustrating but necessary failures along the way. After all, our four years in this school have offered us experiences with lifelong implications. We learned, for instance, the advantages of being underdogs when we won the tug of war as sophomores. It was also here that we came to understand the power in numbers and in being part of a tight-knit group when we came together and convinced the underclassmen we were ditching pep rally. The Gov Project and Prom taught us to deal with pressure by procrastinating and stress eating. Dancing as a class to Gangnam Style reminded us that no matter who the audience, we should never forget to laugh a little. Most of us have also been humbled by tripping up the stairs while booking it to math at least once, or if you're like me, by trying to hide the fact that you're out of breath before reaching the third floor. And although we've lived each of these experiences from our own unique perspectives, and although all of them mean something a little different to each of us, they all in some way mean Hopkinton High School. It's strange to think that someday, when this graduation seems almost as distant as non-Apple phones, these memories are what will remind us, most for better, but perhaps some not, of each other, of Hopkinton, and of home. I mean it when I say that this is the best group of people I could have hoped to graduate with. I mean it when I say that I'm in absolute awe of the talent and potential I see looking around right now. And I mean it when I say that we'll accomplish truly amazing things. And HHS class of 2013, this, starting right now, is when we get to prove that. Good luck, and thank you for an amazing four years. <laughs> 